Hello Club Patrons, welcome back to more Frostpunk 2. This video, whenever I ended up looking at it, is continued directly off the last one. The people who went to home were very mad at me. Uh, the Evolver fervor is weakening. Not good, because the Faith Keeper is full. <laughs> There, promote them. Let them think they're in charge. Guys, I need you to frost break faster. Some colonists swayed by the faith keepers among them have begun sabotaging your efforts to tamper with glimpse and heavy machinery. We can build watchtowers to maintain order, but some of the evolvers whisper of a more extreme solution. They propose we instill human experimentation. Pardon me? So, they're suggesting I turn them into servitories? <laughs> yes. I'm a fan of this. I'll try, but I don't know if I can pass the law. They're not happy here. I need to switch which watchtower I have. I need surveillance watchtowers. And they need to frost break faster. <laughs> I might be fucked before it even begins. It'll be okay, just keep kneeing it and they'll knee back. Alright, I need to go to society and switch the thing. Come on, frost break faster. Okay. I don't deal with that. Where's the next one? Down there. They're sitting there throwing me over our blood, built off our backs. They drink ice wine, smoke cigars, and laugh over appetizers. And what do we do? We work, we toil, we break ourselves in the muck and mire for a dream we don't share. And they choke in their food. Well, Jesse, hide. How about I throw you down the crevice? God, I can't build any houses down here yet because of the gases. There's just one more after frost break too, it's over there. Minor toxic gases is better than nothing. It's just minor now. They broke the fucking district already! I need to pass human experimentation.
Which I don't think is under this. Let's see if I can get Garden Forces passed. Forty-one. 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 I'm still hesitant, so I don't know if I can get it through. What if I hold you? Twenty-six. So the Frostlanders are the best one I can do. Can I get another promise in? Vote for one projects. 51. I only need 51 votes. We'll try. Oh, I need more than 51 votes. I need 67 votes. Damn it. Fine, I tried. Good. Let's go over here. We can act on these ideas later because I'm busy. I need to fund the new Londoners. Let me ask my boys the Evolvers for some catch. Alright. And then... Let's see if I can get human experimentation through. This is a radical idea, so it's very unlikely, but I can try. Radical, bro. I don't need to build a vanguard building. Is there anything out here still I can go yoink? I'm getting oil. Oil food. Wrecked warehouse. May as well take this course. Languid herd. There's a surprisingly large amount of stuff still to explore out here, it seems. Back over to winter home. This district isn't big enough to fit this. Yet. As soon as that's done, I can build the next thing. Don't break that, you're gonna kill us all. More people have died to toxic gas. Oh no, anyway. Oh, I'm not at it yet. The demand is increased. It's fine. Stop breaking my district! A lot of materials. There's some coal and stuff this way. And food up here. I just fixed it and they broke it again. Idea tree! I researched that. Treatment. Hospital would probably be nice to have. Free mental treatment. I'm working on the gas. Give me time. 
What are you guys trying to pass in here? Do you think I can get human experimentation through? I hope you do. I like human experimentation. I, I did it. All I have to do is build a bioways hothouse. Man, the Frostlanders are really easy to deal with. Oh god, how long has that been there? Well, human experimentation has been passed. <laughs> All right. Disease is still a massive issue, which I'm trying to fix. I keep cross breaking where I can. Cross break this. As soon as that's done. Okay, I can build the last few districts. And when that's done, I should have control of the gas here. And then I also need to build that surveillance watchtower. And then I need to send more people here. As many as I can spare. It's a fair amount. Okay. So far so good. Stop breaking that. Back to New London because I need to get my prefab production going again. Remember, all new products have been tested on convicts and are safe for use. All toxic gas springs have been closed. Toxic gas no longer threatens winter home. Well, what once they saw is a cursed desolate land you've made ha habitable. This miracle proves we can sell anywhere. The once cursed city will become a springboard from which we can expand even further. Good. I need to build a bio waistline back on the side of things. Alright, back over to there. You have managed to enforce peace in Winter Home for now. Sabotage will cease. Nice. Now I have normal cross breaking again. Still trying to figure out how to get up that cliff. Go this way. Get this coal mine. Get that food. Build an extraction district on top of that. Need more houses. Freezing to death in the ruins, I'm working on it! I will not cease. You will cease. Cease. Will make you cease. They are really angry about the seas, which, you know, sucks and all, but I'm working on it. To be fair, you're you're taking weeks to handle it. Well it takes weeks to build. <laughs> I know. This... this lady looks crazy. 
Well, I certainly appreciate someone's oh, choice it gives. Would you rather die throwing yourself at the toxic gases in the winter home or die on an operating table with psychotic scientists? This isn't what I expected when we first set up a council. I thought we'd have to say in our lives. I see now the only way we say is at which angle Sue will snap her neck. I will snap your neck. How dare you fall back against me. I'll snap your neck like a chicken. Go try and figure out how to get up there. Unless I can Bye, just... chicken. Oh, I can just already build up here. Become a chicken. What? What is your obsession with chicken? Chicken. Are you okay? Chicken. Should I be worried? You should be. There. Now we're getting geothermal power from there. Still need coal and uh, oil to use thermal power. Uh, the generator is running off of steam right now. Or, well, it's going to. I need 200 steam to make it run off of steam, so I need to get more steam. Is steam renewable? Uh. Don't know. If it is, it'd be convenient, because then you'd have infinite energy. I don't think it's completely infinite. That fucking sucks. I mean, 51,000 weeks, I guess that's basically infinite. <laughs> Alright, food is fixed. Steward. Guards have apprehended a member of the Faith Keepers near the Council Hall, caught him loitering with no good reason to be there, said one of the guards. We found a notebook full of timetables with the evolver's delegates coming and going. He refuses to explain the purpose of these notes. On the last page, we have found the following scribble. Their dream of war and plea lost, and winter must be avenged. These are lies. We do not kill babies. You hear the fifth keepers eat <laughs> New London's going to hell again. I think that was kind of inevitable, though. This is what happens in On the Edge. New London had a fucking plague and wouldn't tell anybody. And then you're just running the little Outpost 11. It's like, what the fuck is going on over there? I was working in Outpost 11. I was just playing a few minutes ago. How is that going? I'm terrible of I am terrible of Frostpunk. You're not that bad. I'm very bad. You say so. I do say so. You know so. I know so. Okay. Just thinking to myself what I need. I need materials. Oh, they rejected it. I wasn't even paying attention. Looks like they rejected the uh, experimental treatments. Span the district. What can I build here? I need materials, so... A little sawmill. Now I have a question. What Which question? gives you more coal? coal? Coal thumpers or kill? I think the coal thumper. Aw, the Evolver Rally is building me another prison free of charge. Nice. Uh, shit. I need... I wonder how the Pilgrims would turn out if you did the opposite route. The Faith Keepers invites all citizens for evening prayer at the Central Temple.
is. Well, I have 10,000 people living in Winterhome now. What are you Yay. guys pissed about now? I mean, they're probably angry about the lack of housing. I'm working on it. Is there a... No, I can build this crevice. I don't know what they're mad about over here. Uh, the fact it's called Winter Home and not Winter Vacation. <laughs> Might be because it's so cold. Do you have uh, generators working yet? Well, it's partially because I don't have enough clothing. Which I'm trying it's to fix. Wet. Why is everything wet? Why is everything right? I wasn't fully paying attention, honestly. Uh, I think it's because of how angry the people are. Although it's only red over here in Winter Home. I just gotta build more houses and stuff. You like my little crevice ability here? Yes. Hey, it was, it was entirely anger. Fair amount of red's gone now. This also provides some shelter. I need to send some more people here. Otherwise, things be looking pretty good. They be getting good, good, good. The old dreadnought needs more houses. Okay, so we've got three settlements, technically. Yes. Although they only count two so far. The old dreadnought is where I get all my oil. New London is fucking massive. Remember to keep your heat lamp maintained. It might just save your life. The game's getting a little frame ready on me. Oh no. Probably temp files from running it for so long. Probably. Probably. I'm in a negative 50 for food. I am too. I am hungry. I mean, food can be easily fixed all these settlements out here. Winter Palace, possible settlement. The Skyways. Yes, the Skyways. You have flying? Yeah, well, I do have airships, yes. Nice. I will protect the seals. Come back later. Steel shed, forest prefabs, I'll take that. I don't think there's anything else out here. Oh, it's this. Little food outpost here. You prefer connecting sky? Skyways over trails? Skyways can carry more stuff. Interesting, I assume Skyways don't require more infrastructure. 
They're more expensive, yeah, but they can carry more shit. Trying to connect everything. Yeah, I need my food. Plague checks. I'll come back for you people. I'll leave the silver automatons there. I'm curious about those towers. Send the expeditions. Turns out it's UFOs. No. This is actually XCOM. Alright, they want me to pass experimental treatment. Wherever that is. I should be able to get it through. The Frostlanders won't let me down. Let's fund their projects. Easy peasy. You see, Evolvers, if you just offer people enough money, they'll vote for anything. Hear ye, hear ye. The proposed law has been approved. Now I just have to go over to the Frostlanders right. and fund their projects and done. Yay. The Faith Keepers continue to be pissed. I gotta do something about food though because I'm running out of deposits. There's food deposit here. Is is it the bigger it is, the more uh, food you can get from it, or is it just it's... the bigger it is, you need a certain size for districts? A district has to be a certain size. It's only harvesting from the how many things there are, though. Also, since I did not go with the Feet the Frost, I have to rely on all these fucking settlements that, I, that you see. Like, all my food and shit is coming from these. Because you said you didn't what for the frost? Way back in chapter 1, it asked me embrace the frost or defeat the frost. Defeat the frost is like the shelter in place style of play. It lets me access the deep deposits. I went with embrace the frost, which is why I have like 30,000 colonies out here. I feel like that's more sustainable, honestly. If the things fall apart, you can just start... Yeah, if it's more sustainable than... Digging through the reserves in one spot and having no more reserves. Alright, they're exploring the frozen ocean... You end the game, find out there's actually hyper advanced uh, raising civilization coming towards you. The aliens are here. Frostpunk three is just lone RTS. Frostpunk three, silver punk. <laughs> Frostpunk three, the frostening. Frostpunk three, all. Who left the fridge open? Wow. Frozen blood. Frostpunk 3. Who let the dogs out? Frostpunk 3. Blood and snow. Frostpunk 3. Frostpunk 3. Frostbuck 3, don't eat the yellow snow. Frostbuck 3, oh god, the snow's brown. Frostbuck 3, what happened here? Half a winter home hates you. What 
but only half. So I'm building more houses. Do you have a way to deal with all the disease and shit here? Disease isn't the issue the cold is right now. Excited to see more houses. There's a little bit of squalor, but that's not too bad. Give me a second, I gotta check something. Well done, Steward. We're nearly there. You assure it's possible to embrace the frost. This new ice age is simply catalyst for adaption. This future is just within our reach. Be our, be our, be our, be our. Oh no, what are you doing to New London? What are you doing? Don't you touch that generator, you stupid bastards! <laughs> He's got a bomb, doesn't he? Oh my god! Chapter 5, A Dream of Utopia. Oh, those Crypt Keepers have fucking lost it. Steward, one of the Faith Keepers has stabbed a speaker of Evolvers to death at the exact moment. The hands of Faith Keeper storms several districts in the city. New London is on the brink of chaos. Again. The Evolvers are furious and terrified. Those terrorists have no place in New London. They must either leave or cease to be Faith Keepers. They get ready to fight back. Banishing the Faith Keepers would punish this crime and unify New London under the ideals of the Evolvers. You could try to stop the madness to seek reconciliation. You would, however, have to ensure concessions from both sides. This is not the only way, though. Many in the city could rally behind you. You could retake the captain's lost authority, separate the picking factions, and enforce order. I am back. What happened? Uh, the Faith Keepers have lost their fucking minds and just stabbed somebody to death. Oh. So my options are banish the Faith Keepers, seek reconciliation, or pass all of the rule provisions and become the captain. I'd say it's between banish or enforce order. Passing that shit's gonna be difficult though. I'm gonna banish him. To succeed, you will need to relocate all of its members to a new colony. If we invest in its construction, it will leave it amicably. Do not you have to rely on the guards to deport them. What is the other options? Or the captain one? My power is very limited. I have to win a bunch of votes. For that one. Like kitty. It's easy to just kitty. banish them, so it's gonna do that. The Faith Keepers would be banished from New London. This is for this not to be death sentenced by any other means in your new home. An aborted generator site windward more contain contains resources needed for a colony, even though the site's deposits are very deep and its freezing wind severe. With some effort we can make it habitable and the Faith Keepers may migrate voluntarily. Otherwise we'll have to deport them. Oh god. Oh Jesus. No, that's fun, is it? Uh, the city is... ...falling apart. New London? Yes. Shit. What? Kitty. Like I said, I'm so surprised you were trying to keep the peace for something. The city must not fall. Shit. What? I didn't do anything. What happened? Attention crisis was averted, apparently. Steward, the guards are waiting orders on what their priority should be while protecting this district. 
they could form a cordon around vital infrastructure, halting its destruction, or they could instead focus on keeping civilians out of harm's way and prevent their deaths. What should their priority be? Protect the people. I can't. I can't stay by the microphone. That's just screaming for attention. Kitty has chosen violence. Not that bad. It's not turned entirely red. Orangeing a bit. Stop yelling at me! I need more guards. Is there anything in here that can help me? I have an idea. Genocide. There's not really anything I can research at this point. Maybe with all the tension I can start passing... Captain Laws and getting them to go through. Okay. With all the shit I can get this through without trying too hard. The city must not fall. You know, the quest I have is called A New Home. Frostpunk has began and ended with A New Home. I need all of you guys to chill the fuck out. Me. Home is not doing well. What's wrong with you guys? I mean, it could be worse. So my priority is up here. I need more guards. Yeah, I can't fit this in. I need more what guards. Why are you standing? Do it, do it. Do it. Damn the cabin on letting you be captain. Mobilize more guard squads. Steward, the guards are awaiting orders what the priority should be while quelling fighting in this district. If they fight alongside the evolvers and neutralize faith keepers, they'll incur numerous casualties. However, if they instead try to arrest the faith keepers, they'll avoid bloodshed, but require more guards to prolong the process. Shiftic. Enforce peace. Try and get these dumb fucks from killing each other. I need more guards. Build more watchtowers. Become the watchtower you wish to see in this world. Become fridge. 
become great. Extra fridge noises here. That is that is still has to be one of the things I've seen. It's just pretends to be fridge, makes fridge noises. What other districts do I got? Uh, whatever can get me more people. Wait, if you're so focused on districts, is this is if this is this a or 2010 teenage dystopia novel? You know, like Hunger Games or uh, the other Hunger Games, whatever it was. Divergent. I process nothing. <laughs> I am so focused. If this if this game is so focused on districts, does this mean this is the uh, third horseman after Hunger Games and Divergent? Maybe. Oh god, what's the floor is the fourth horseman gonna be? Frostpunk 4, the Forcening. Frostpunk 4, what if we did the opposite? What if it just never snowed again? It's just a regular city builder, no one has any issues because it's fucking no snow. Like one weirdo mentions the lack of snow, everyone else hits him. <laughs> Faith Caper stormed a new district full of Evolver's neighborhoods. They said buildings and fire to force them out before ruthlessly beating them. The Evolver's had to retreat, leaving many of their own behind. Now the Evolver's are begging you to help them with the captives. Storm location, you ain't taking my fucking people hostage. <laughs> if you do, make sure it's politely. Man, New London has almost fallen like three fucking times. Well, you're good. You get good at enough that you didn't fall. I have 11 guards. I need more. Do any of my other blue districts have a thing on it? Oh, I don't have any workforce. Why are the new Londoners moving underneath the Faith Keepers? Okay, game's auto saving. You thought I was about to crash? Yes. I hate when they get that fear and you're like, God damn it, I didn't even save. You should probably save. They're still building the furnace. Alright, you dipshits. I'm gonna try and help you out as much as I can. Don't fuck with me. Being out in the middle of nowhere sucks for them, but... Everything's gonna be exposed to wind because this area just sucks. That's wrong, but let's get you guys houses. Can I send anything to a generator without fucking myself? Resource transfer. I'll send you guys some coal. Some food. 
It's materials-ish. What do you mean they don't trust me? I mean, why would they trust you? this I can't pass that this is not the time to be passing laws Londoners. Grant's agenda. Hostile fighters, put down your arms. A new future awaits you in your colony. Is there a way you can get that colony to be nice with you though once you kick him off? Maybe. Turn your generator on in a second. Jeebus. To the faith keepers bound for Windward Moor, we can build a house. You must make it your home. They're going to be struggling with heat because they're like. Elements are hitting them, but all right, I gotta go back to New London. I put into all the bells in my city. Send them to the moor. I'm gonna bring my trust up somehow. Build a silica foundry, I guess. Or I would, if I had 336 more workforce. Okay, trust is going back up. I am not a dick, so... I just want to make sure you're okay out here. Shelter, food, and heat.
I need a lot more shelter. There's still a bunch of Faith Keepers at New London. Please dispatch gift boxes to the steward by post to avoid unnecessary queuing. Oh boy, I feel like that's gonna bite you in the ass. Allowing me full force, probably. I have that, just in case of uh, people gonna cause issues. Kitty. Are you okay there? Give me a second. Okay, Evolvers, I need you to chill out. We do not recruit the children. They're for the coal mines. <laughs> Bystander just got murdered. We, I'm calling it there. The ones I've detained, I'll send them over. Ooh, good job. What is a city but an endless void of blunt? Every day, every minute is covered bag with hands. Sticky from honey, fat from your meat with the galls to demand more. So when they came to you, defiant and entitled, demanding their own city, who could blame you for doing the bare minimum? We gave them the bones. They want to be a city so badly, let them make it one. And if they fail, it's on them. The city stands. Yay. Oh, the city it. did not fall. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Actually, I didn't realize this game was gonna be so short. I beat that in what, like four episodes, four hours. To be fair, every single scenario was uh, relatively short for Frostpunk in the first one. It's true, about two, three hours per. It's not like the Frostpunk started out very long. Maybe you wanted everyone to get along. The part of the Evolvers and their vision of the future. Maybe you tried your very best. 1,000 criminals died during human experimentation. Another thousand died trying to become Apex workers. Now the game's just attacking me. Maybe you think the Evolvers will build a better future. Winter home settled as the Evolvers wanted. Maybe you had to do it, or the city would fall. Only 426 bystanders killed in the Civil War. Could have been worse. 
6,264 faith keepers left for the colony. 3,823 deported by force. 115 died fighting. Conditions in the colony were abysmal. Hundreds die in the first year. Oh, Jesus. Well, it's their own fault. God, that reminds me of the ending of The Last Autumn. If you don't build Jenner well enough, it's like, well, hundreds die because Jenner can't do anything. Oh no, not Lily. I see the game wants to guilt you for every decision you make. Stop attacking the game! <laughs> Love bitch here knows how to depress a girl. <laughs> Good. Be sad. Oh my god, I cannot pronounce a single name for that. If you're curious, by the way, at the very start of the game, uh, a family comes up to you and is like, Hey look, we had a kid. We named her Lily Mae. So then when you beat the game, then there's different things that happen to her. I assumed it was someone you were supposed to care about. I think it's supposed to like make you wonder about her as you play the game, because you don't hear anything about her until, like, start of the game. Hey, we had a kid. Why they show the steward specifically is like, hey, look, a baby. I don't know. But then end of the game comes. And it's like, here's what's become of her. She's 14 years old. She chopped off her arm. She reads books all night. Her mother was sent to the colonies. <laughs> Welcome, patrons. I'll see you in the next one. I'll probably do another run of this at some point. But for now, bye bye.